They want all electric army tanks now. Think of this. So they want to have an army tank that's electric. You can't get it recharged. It doesn't go far enough. It doesn't go strong enough. We go into enemy territory. We will blast the shit out of everybody, but at least we will go in with environmentally nice equipment. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke, party people, welcome back and thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man. So, New York State has ordered Donald J. Trump to pay crazy E. Jean Carroll 83 ma million dollars. Unbelievable. Now, I know a lot of you guys are high-fiving each other. All you Trump haters are high-fiving each other and saying that Trump was guilty for sexual assault. Not so fast. It wasn't about no sexual assault. This was about defamation. This was about Donald Trump using his free speech and calling E. Jean Carroll a crazy But, you know, New Yorkers, the jury is full of Democrats. The judge is a Democrat and it was all lopsided. They are all out there to get Trump. That's all it shows. Everybody's a right to defend themselves when they are wrongfully accused and to be able to say, I didn't do it. And to double and triple and quadruple down and say, this is wrong. This is wrong. But we are in the state of New York. We are in a New York jury, and that is why we are seeing these witch hunts, these hoaxes, as he calls them. And this is another one of them. Be brought in New York, in states where they know they will get juries like this. I know you guys want to say, yes, the lawsuit came out, but the verdict doesn't prove his guilt. Okay? Again, you can go to the transcripts and all that. It's only saying that Trump kept calling her crazy and said it didn't happen. Nothing like of the sort happened. But, you know, the judge threw out a lot of evidence that um, uh, Alina Haba, Trump's lawyer, had witnesses kicked out. There were some things you couldn't present. It was so bad that uh, when Tr um, Trump was going to um, to testify, the judge went to hear What's the question you're going to use? How are you going to say it? And what's your response going to be before the jury? You are not allowed to be told that you can't bring it up. And imagine a point where a judge tells the lawyer before your client, the former president of the United States, the leading candidate and obvious no nominee for the Republican Party. Before he takes the stand to defend himself, Ms. Haba, Tell me the questions you're going to ask in open court and tell me exactly what he's going to respond. And then edited my questions, edited the response he was allowed to give. So the judge edited the questions and even um, told Trump some things he can and cannot say before he testifies. And guess what my client did? He took the stand. He abided by the rules of this corrupt system that I have seen. We will immediately appeal. We will set aside that ridiculous jury. Uh, again, corruption. It was all corrupt. Now, if you guys will remember, 2017 is when the hashtag Me Too movements came out. And it was all crafted to come after Trump. When um, Stormy, the, po the porn star... Uh, accused Trump of doing whatever, even though she was paid. 
they was trying to uh, have a hashtag movement to get Trump embarrassed and get him out of the office. And it kind of backfired because the only people that hurt during the time was like Harvey Weinstein and a lot of celebrities, a lot of people that was up there, bosses, uh, executives, they got caught up in that hashtag movement, kind of backfired. And then New York, the state of New York, the governor passed the Adult Survivor Act uh -huh. for one year for you could bring up any sexual allegations. I don't care how old it was. If it passed statute of limitation, they didn't care. Bring it up. And that was all again crafted just to get Trump. Wow. And of course, y'all yeah, see a lot of celebrities got caught up in it too. P. Diddy for one. You see what happened? So, but P. Diddy was a coward. He paid out the money. Trump says, no, we're going to trial. Even though he paid, we see that it was what it was. It was all corruption. Now, of course, Alina Haba and Trump are going to appeal because even the witness, even the, not the witness, but even the experts were saying it's about eight to $12 million for the verdict. $83 million? What? Again, it was all to prove a point, all to embarrass Trump, and they're trying to break his pockets because he's leading in the polls. They're trying to stop the Trump train. It's too late, and you're going to make a martyr out of him. There's an old saying, do not make your enemies become martyrs, but look what you're doing. Every time you're doing this, you bring, you, you making his brand bigger and more emboldened. So you Democrats, pretty bad. Now, back to E. Jean Carroll, her crazy ass. Let's show you a clip of an interview she had with Anderson Cooper on CNN. I don't feel like a victim. I was not thrown on the ground and ravished, which the word rape carries so many sexual connotations. This was not, this was not sexual. For, it just, it, it hurt. It just, what, it just, you know. Well, I think most people think of rape as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not. I think sexual. most people think of rape as being sexy. Mm. Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm. We're going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more on the other side. You're fascinating to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> she was fantasizing about rape. And you're telling me she's not crazy. This is the same woman y'all awarded $83 million. She comes to court with a dress that she held on for, what, 30 years. And nobody... No star witness from the, the cross, from the defense, could examine it. There was no proof. And I couldn't prove that she didn't bring in the dress. There was no DNA. There was no expert. My experts were denied. Two of them. Two of them were denied to come in. Lena Haba brought two experts, and then the judge didn't even let that examine it. So you telling me that's not corruption? And then who holds a dress for 30 years? She had no proof. If she had proof, she let the witnesses examine it and say, oh yeah, there's some, some DNA on there of Trump's. She didn't let them do that because it's all corruption. It's all corruption. But they're going to appeal. They're going to appeal this lopsided jury. Before I walked into court, judge decided that every single defense President Trump had, we were not allowed to raise in front of the jury. It is in writing, and I encourage the journalists, the real journalists, to take the minute to look at his orders. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. If you got any value of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. All you New Yorkers, get off my lawn. The former president does not live his life in fear, as you've seen every single day. The former president and probably future president will continue to fight for Americans. Thank you very much, everybody.